Warning. The following file has memetic screening coded text. Authorized personnel are to refer to memetic neutralizing document immediately upon finishing reading of this file. Registered Phenomena Code 227 Object Class Alpha White Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-227 and all three of the accompanying instances are to be kept within a standard containment chamber at OL Site-227, located on Vatican City State. RPC-227 is to be kept under closed-circuit observation nightly. Since to date, all events related to the object have occurred from the time frame between the hours of 1800 and 0600 EET. Any anomaly observed during this time frame must be reported immediately to a Security Level 3 personnel on duty. Should RPC-227 produce an anomalous event, ASF Rapid Response Mistress's Shadows are to be dispatched to the location detailed by RPC-227-A, B, or C as soon as possible. Upon arrival to the designated location, MST personnel must initiate Protocol Apocalypse, as detailed on document RPC-227-C. Discovery and containment of the anomaly must be prioritized, followed by minimization of potential witnesses. Any anomalies encountered during the event shall be taken into containment when possible, and all witnesses found on the scene are to be administered Class A amnestics and dispersed. Lethal force is authorized as a last resort only. RPC-227 is an anomalous round mirror decorated with an intricate silver rim. It has a diameter measuring exactly 3 meters. When inactive, RPC-227 appears as a regular mirror would. The anomalous properties of RPC-227 may be observed during an O-1 emergence event between the hours of 1800 and 0600 EET. During these events, the mirrored surface of RPC-227 will take on a perfect black, non-reflective texture, which absorbs 98.9% .9 of all radiation on the visible spectrum, appearing in a manner similar to that of Banta Black. Surrounding RPC-227 are three skeletal entities, designated RPC-227-A Silencer, RPC-227-B Sleeper, RPC-227-C Dreamer, and a fourth entity which with confirmed sightings, denominated RPC-227-D Harbinger. These names were assigned to each instance for differentiation purposes, according to document RPC-227-A and document RPC-227-B. Read document RPC-227-B for details of this fourth entity. When the asset is inactive, all instances of RPC-227-A to C remain inanimate. Prior to an O-1 emergence event, one of the instances will become animated, an event designated as Whispers in the Dark. Read document RPC-227-D for details about these events. Observers within hearing distance of RPC-227 have reported instances will attempt to vocalize with any surrounding personnel, in a manner often described as ghostly. This vocalization can be easily understood, but the exact language used is currently unidentified. All recorded instances of RPC-227 vocalization, while appearing vague in description, have been known to hint at the location of an RPC object of interest, though, until recently, this was poorly understood. In 85% of the recorded Whispers in the Dark events, only one of these entities activates when it takes place. In 15% of aforementioned events recorded, more than one entity become animated. In none of the recorded events have all the entities activated simultaneously. To date, with the exception of RPC-227-D. All communication attempts with RPC-227-A to C have been ineffective. Notably, 
the object class of the RPC found during an event, is dictated by which one of these entities activated. Such differences between each of these instances are detailed on document RPC-227-A. Manifestations of RPC-227-D ceased as of 2000 when instance produced a single vocalization and is to be disregarded. Discovery. RPC-227 was found during the first excavations at the Vatican Acropolis in 19 in the Mausoleum. It was brought to the authorities' attention when undercover agents on the excavation crew caught wind of the discovery, as the object was found in an active state and RPC-227-A was vocalizing. Hints given by RPC-227-A led to where RPC-009 was found. Accompanying the mirror was a document similar to a dossier written in parchment dating to AD-80 Addendum 227-1 Select O-1 Emergence Event Logs O-1 Emergence Event 024 Date 1998 Hour 1810 Event Description RPC-227-C Dreamer became animate, vocalizing Boreal Forest of Canada. ASF Rapid Response Mistress Shadows were mobilized to location. Upon learning of complaints about a missing person, Authority personnel was dispatched to take care of the situation, with the containment of the anomaly catalogued as RPC-024. O-1 Emergence Event 071 Date 19 Hour 2355 Event Description RPC-227-B Sleeper became animate vocalizing and no further hints. ASF Rapid Response investigated the location, and upon finding complaints of nine missing individuals, an ASF would deploy to the area and discovered RPC-071 was the cause of the disappearances. O-1 Emergence Event Date February 13, 1993 Hour 333 Event Description RPC-227-B became animate, vocalizing Italy, Catacombs, None, Emergency. ASF Rapid Response members monitored emergency communication lines, intercepting a call which alerted Authority personnel, with the subsequent dispatch of MST Bravo-6 to the location from where the call was traced. O-1 Emergence Event 274 Date 1954 Hour 2225 Event Description RPC-227-A Silencer became animate, vocalizing Chelyabinsk, Siberia. Vocalizations were noted stressful and hushed in tone. ASF Rapid Response investigated local reports of a large explosion coming from just outside the town. The Authority dispatched ASF personnel to investigate these reports, finding RPC-274. O-1 Emergence Event Date 2000 Hour Midnight Event Description RPC-227-D Harbinger Manifested from behind a mirror Data redacted per Level 5 Clearance Personnel Orders Addendum 227-2 Document RPC-227-A The first page of the document bound did not display any anomalous properties, and exhibited writing in Roman script, which read, Et esse video velocitor vetus q costa di verba propite libra huius. Translated to English, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. From the next page onward, text detailing the entities accompanying the mirror and the mirror itself was written in anomalous text, which seemed to be understood by anyone reading the document in their native language, with different subjects reporting different written languages when reading the document, 
even with two subjects reading it at the same time. Transcript of the text reads as follows. If any man have an ear, let him hear. The sign shall be uttered by the messengers of the other world, and their omniscient gaze. For when the light fades from their mirror, a new messenger of the other world will descend upon the realm where they reside. Heed the words from the ushers, for they will be the ones to know what has befallen upon the realm. The dreamer lies over the mirror, draped in a cloak that shields her sleep. She shall only abandon the bliss of dreams when a messenger that can be sealed befalls upon the realm. Her words will reliably point in the direction where the messenger lies. The dreamer has a whimsical way of communication, and anyone seeking to hear her words must await the hours before the sun rises. The sleeper can be found at the foot of the mirror, having fallen asleep while gazing onto the mirror awaiting a sign. Seek his words of guidance carefully, for he has a habit of omission. He will always point at beings that have powers that cannot be conclusively understood. The silencer watches over his sleeping brethren, his words sparse and quiet, to avoid waking them. When the silencer speaks, be warned, for this messenger only speaks when the arrival of an ominous menace is imminent. In an attempt to preserve the sleep of his brethren, the silencer will utter the least amount of signs possible. The rest of the page, apparently detailing RPC-227-D, seems to have been torn a long time ago. On the next page can only be found a written sentence in the same anomalous text. I am the beginning and the end. Addendum 227-3 Document RPC-227-B The entity known as RPC-227-D Harbinger, is like the other three skeletal in appearance, clad in what appears to be a pitch-black robe, similar to the Grim Reaper found in common religious depictions. This entity has exhibited the capability of communication. When this entity manifests, it signals the creation of an Omega-class anomaly. To date, it has manifested times. Below is a transcript of a brief interview that was held with RPC-227-D on 2000. Interviewed RPC-227-D Interviewer Dr. Sardis Forward RPC-227-D Manifested and alerted of the creation of RPC with highly detailed clues. The entity was requested an interview after Authority personnel were mobilized for containment of announced anomaly, and Level 5 personnel ordered detainment and questioning of RPC-227-D, to which it complied. Begin Log Date 2000 Hour 0045 We'll be quick. Who are you? And why weren't you found with the other three entities guarding the mirror? I am the Harbinger, and I am to wake only when a serious threat menaces my brethren. I see. And why those names? Your brethren have names like Silencer, Sleeper, and Dreamer. Why is that? Those are the names we were assigned when we were sent with the mirror. The purpose of these names was to assign us the different anomalies we were to announce. So you mean these names have something to do with the threat level of the anomalies you sense? What are your real names? What were your duties before being assigned to the mirror? A long time ago, Silencer used to be known as Michael, Sleeper as Uriel, Dreamer was called Ariel, and I used to be known as Raziel. I see. Does this mirror show existing anomalies? Who created the mirror? With what purpose? The mirror allows us to know when a new anomaly arrives into this realm. Unfortunately, I cannot answer further inquiries. I am afraid my time in this realm is coming to an end. End Log Date 2000 Hour 115 Closing Statement RPC-227-D vanished from sight after his last statement, whispering after doing so the words, He will be coming soon. To date, RPC-227-D has not been encountered again, nor has any other anomaly been spotted pertaining to RPC-227-D's last warning before leaving. 
Addendum 227-4 Document RPC-227-C Protocol Apocalypse Guidelines Whenever a 01 emergence event takes place followed by a Whispers in the Dark event, the following procedure is to be enacted by all Authority personnel involved with RPC-227. 1. All vocalizations emitted by RPC-227-A to D must be recorded from the start of the event until it ends. 2. ASF Rapid Response Forces are to be dispatched to localizations hinted at in these vocalizations to investigate. Prioritizing discovery and containment of anomalies, followed by minimization of witnesses. 3. In case any other MST are deployed or assigned to the area hinted at, ASF Rapid Response shall provide coordinates and any information contributing to the discovery and containment of the anomaly, and shall assist in the minimization of witnesses while the MST responsible for the area deals with the containment of the anomaly. 4. Should ASF Rapid Response require reinforcements, they are to request backup from the nearest site security force. In the event further reinforcements are needed, they are to request assistance from the nearest MST available. 5. An exhaustive report on the discovery and containment operations must be filed by head of ASF Rapid Response, Mistress's Shadows, midnight after Protocol Apocalypse has been carried out whether it was successful or not. 6. In case of failure to carry out Protocol Apocalypse successfully, all personnel involved must contain any anomaly found at location at any cost. Addendum 227-5 Document RPC-227-D 01 Emergence Event This designation refers to events observed between the hours of 1800 and 0600 EET during which the mirrored surface of RPC-227 will take on a perfect black, non-reflective texture which absorbs 98.9% .9 of all radiation on the visible spectrum. Such change may last from 2 minutes to 10 minutes, depending on the time RPC-227-A to C remain active. These events have a 100% chance of resulting in the discovery of an anomaly of interest in a given location of the world. Aside from the changes described, the surface of the mirror presents no other anomalous properties. Notably, no changes take place when anomalies are contained or when containment of them fails. Whispers in the Dark Event This event always precedes an O-1 emergence event. One or more of the entities designated RPC-227-A to C becomes animated, signaled by a darkening of the eye sockets of their skulls, slight twitching and wheezing noises apparently being emitted from their skulls. When active, the entities will begin vocalizations, which are uttered in an unidentifiable language, but have been reported to be understood by any surrounding personnel, in a manner often described as ghostly. All recorded instances of RPC-227 vocalization, while appearing vague in description, have been known to hint at the location of RPC object of interest. Each one of the different entities have been reported as having distinct voices, as well as intonations and frequency of events. Each one of the entities is linked to a different object class of the anomalies they hint at. These differences are described as follows. RPC-227-A Silencer Vocalizations described as an elder male voice, with some subjects describing it as raspy, concise, quiet in tone but underlined by a sense of urgency. All hints have led to Gamma-class objects. RPC-227-B Sleeper Vocalization described as similar to a young adult male voice, unpredictably vague or detailed. Subjects report feeling a slightly hypnotic quality upon listening. No pattern has been established about the scarcity of details, due to alternating between many hints and as few as a single hint. Characteristic of this entity is the way it slowly vocalizes, pausing for variable periods. All hints uttered by this entity have led to Beta-class objects. RPC-227-C Dreamer Entity's voice is described as that of a young female adult. Vocalizations from this entity have proved to be more precise than the ones emitted by the other entities. 
all hints led to Alpha-class objects. RPC-227-D Harbinger Entity's voice had been described as that of an elder male, deeper in tone than RPC-227-A's vocalizations. Subjects hearing this entity's voice reported a distinct echo to it. Hints vocalized by RPC-227-D are more precise and detailed than any of the other entities have ever vocalized, and have proven capable of communication. Vocalizations lead to Omega-class anomalies. All of the entities revert to an inanimate state five seconds after vocalizing, signaled by a slight brightening of the eye sockets on their skulls, and the ceasing of movement. A few subjects have reported hearing the distant toll of a bell. Subjects reporting such an occurrence all consistently profess the Catholic faith.